Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the oil upgrade. So it's been a while since I did the live stream. Uh, I've expanded the base quite a bit since then. And I'll just give you a quick tour. Um, maybe I'll do it by room type. So I got bedrooms here, mess hall here, medical here. Haven't had to use this yet. Uh, lavatory. This should be a latrine room. What am I missing? Oh, my, my sinks are too far away. Okay. I'll probably move one of the sinks back in here so it becomes an official bathroom again. Got some showers, another bedroom, another mess hall. And I've got my fertilizer makers up here joined with uh, the natural gas geyser room. It's working pretty well so far. I put in some exosuits here and a dock. So, because I had to dig out here and it was pretty nasty. Uh, and I'll probably continue exploring to the left here. Uh, we do have hydrogen building up here, which I got to deal with, but it should trickle over here to our pump. So we got an electrolyzer here, and then a second one down here. Making oxygen for the base. And over here is my power plant. So I got, so far, four natural gas generators dumping in here. The new map seeds are really nice because they give you a water geyser really close. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. And it hasn't gotten too hot so far. So if we see our liquid overlay, we got water going to the base for the toilets and showers and the electrolyzers. And then the polluted water is uh, dumping in this little reservoir here. And I'm actually pumping some out for the thimble reeds here. I'm doing the same thing over here, pumping polluted water into these thimble reeds, as well as our uh, fertilizer makers. And our food source is mealwood, as usual, <laughs> down here. And so far, pressure and temperature has been okay. I might have to seal these rooms later if that becomes a problem or an issue. issue. I haven't done much exploring except I went in here to get some uh, Weezworts. Um, and I'll be getting more. I shall grab some right now actually. Because I want to cool down this area down here. So down here we have, oh yeah I should mention, I got, I got s oxygen coming down here for the exosuits. And I've got CO2 coming down here from our natural gas generators. And I'm feeding that CO2 to these little, these little sixters because they consume CO2. So far it's been working really well. But now I need to uh, make a pump and start pumping this crude oil up. And I've kind of made an area here I'm going to use. So this is going to be a... I might as well start building it now. Uh, oil refinery. I'm going to stick right here. And I might as well get my pump going. And I did have some power coming in. I haven't quite hooked it up yet. And we'll need uh, to move that. Crude oil back out, so I'll head it up here, in here. And put it there. And I've got this room sealed. And the reason I'm pumping oxygen into it is because, well, I should have used hydrogen, hydrogen, but oxygen's probably decent enough to try to keep this room cool. We want to, we want to, yeah, we want a gas that has at least a decent specific heat capacity. Oxygen's not great, but it's uh, it'll 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 work, I think. I probably want some wheeze warts in here as well. The game is getting laggy again, which is unfortunate. So I'll come back in a second when all this is built out. So they're on they're all done building that now. 
we got the crude oil coming in. Now we just need a dupe to come and actually refine it. So I'll make that priority eight. And I left regular tile here just to leave some water to cool this down. I don't think it'll get too hot, but. And I'm kind of putting wheeze warts around, keep this area cool, and I'm trying to cool down this oil area here so that the oil is not crazy hot. It was 80 degrees earlier, but we're slowly cooling it down. And petroleum's gonna go in here. So I should probably get a pump going for that. And I'm thinking of putting our polymer presses right here and probably dripping water on them because they're going to get super hot. We are going to need more, more power down here though. So maybe I'll put in a, oh, two mint. Yeah, maybe I'll put in a coal generator down here for the press, we'll see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's like a lightning strike. So we got petroleum moving along now. And I'm gonna pipe that back. I don't even need to store it here. I mean, I could, or I could just send it directly into the polymer press. So if I put it right there, we kind of got some natural melting going on already, which is really good. I'm thinking of putting a coal generator right there. Gotta hook up some power here. And we're going to need batteries. At least one. I might have to poke a hole in here to let this hydrogen out. It's kind of becoming an issue. I thought it would make its way over here, but... Maybe it's because this vent is here. I don't think there's any harm in putting a airflow tile here. It's getting leggy. Slow going. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier my chlorine storage. So I have a chlorine geyser right here. Keeps my chlorine storage pressurized. It's working really well. Pretty happy with it. So all our food's in there and all our materials are in there. It's actually full, so I'll probably have to keep expanding it downwards. So everything is hooked up now. We've got the petroleum going two ways. One into this collecting pond and some into the polymer press. I put in a coal generator for the power. And this thing gets extraordinarily hot. It is sitting in a bit of water. It's not heating up as fast as it used to. It used to just kind of run away super fast. But it's certainly heating up. It's actually doing pretty well. I wonder if they changed it so it wasn't as crazy. Oh no, there it goes. <laughs> So 
So I'll probably set up a pump at the bottom here to kind of circulate water and drip on top. Don't quite have enough energy from this cold generator. This cold generator shouldn't be in here. I might actually cordon off this room actually. I'll come back once I've done that. So yeah, I, I sealed off this uh, cold generator room. Otherwise the CO2 would have got in here, which is not what we want. And I'm putting in some decor because it's terrible in here. Put a statue along here too. There we go. It's powered up. Just realized I might not have given myself enough space here. To drip the water on. Putting in this uh, pump here. That way we can trickle water on top of this polymer press if we need. We probably won't need to though, it seems to be working pretty well. And for now I might actually... Should I cut this connection? No, it's probably okay. How is everything up here? I haven't looked in a while. <laughs> Food's okay. Still got this hydrogen issue. But most of it's made its way up here, which is good. Or not most, but some. I should probably move these power wheels down because they're immersed in hydrogen right now. I think I'll put them over here. Actually getting pretty warm in the base. Might put some more weaselworts in. And I gotta move my sink back to make this a proper bathroom. So how's it going down here? They've built nothing. Lazy little buggers. I'm gonna seal this up a bit, uh, seal this up again. Now that these power wheels are, are down below, it's okay if there's hydrogen along here. As long as it makes its way up here, it should be fine. Oxygen's really thin in the base right now. So I turned the algae deoxidizers back on for now. Temporarily. We're fine for algae for now, so. Oh, this water's almost gone. Hmm. Just gonna allow some water to go in here. 
so that they can get enough water to uh, fill up the algae terrariums and stuff. So I got one issue here. This oil refinery is at max gas pressure because I've been pumping oxygen in here with a with a uh, high pressure vent. So I've opened the doors to let the oxygen out to kind of depressurize this room. So the pressure is low enough now to get this thing running again. Things are looking good now. And we're dripping our water here. It'll just go in a cycle here. Eventually this water may warm up. We'll have to keep an eye on it. For now I'm going to disconnect this pipe. Actually, I'll leave it. We can use this petroleum for power generation maybe later on. I should probably close these doors. <laughs> put a regular gas vent in. Actually, we don't need it just yet. We'll wait until if the pressure drops too much in here. Uh, we can always put the vent back in. It's working pretty well. I like it. Hmm. I guess th this is going to give off steam, which will condense, and that might cause this to go up this level. Some crude oil under here that's negative 18. I probably should have put my pump down here because this ice might eventually melt. And I wonder if this oil level will eventually make it up one tile. These guys have been really busy. Giving off the crude oil. So in the next episode, I think I might try to build a petroleum generator now that we have petroleum building up and we have enough plastic to build it now. We're going to have to find a place that where we can keep it cool though. Maybe that's in here, but it gives off carbon dioxide and polluted water, and a ton of heat. Actually, the polymer press gives off more heat, plus steam, so maybe it'll be okay if we put it right in here. How big is it? Oh, it's pretty huge. Have to make some space for it, maybe over here. But we'll save that for next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one, this episode, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.